Um, we'll be starting now. Uh, please put your hands together for Tushar Vashish, co-founder and CEO of the Haldify Me. everybody, thanks for making it out this afternoon. A uh, couple of super exciting things before we get started with the day. Day after tomorrow, we as a company complete seven years of powerful existence. So this couldn't have come at a better time. Let me switch this on as well, please. Uh, this couldn't come as, at a better time for us to have, uh, have this conversation, this engagement, and I'm super excited and super proud to talk about the year that has gone by and the year that lies ahead and all the achievements we've made. So without any delay, let me dive right into it. So let's talk about the year that was. Um, you know, in 2017, when we met here as a group, um, of course, our app was India's finest, India's best calorie counter. It allowed us to track our foods, our nutrition, our water, steps, weight in a local context. Um, and we also had coaches, right? We had nutritionists, trainers, and yoga instructors. All the coaches in the house, can I hear it from you? Just give us a good loud applause. Awesome. So, you know, many of you were here, and of course we had all of you, and, and we did a lot of great work until 2017 Ignite. We'd had 200 million foods and exercises that had been tracked on our platform, and we had 8 million messages that our wonderful team of coaches had exchanged with their users. And then a year went by, and some incredible developments happened. Our app went on from 200 million foods tracked to about 650 million foods and exercises tracked uh, in just one year. And from 8 million, we went to 18 million messages exchanged. But something more special happened in our app is that we launched, we went beyond a calorie counter. We launched our own layer of, of engaging health and wellness content, you know, and on which people could, could uh, like, comment, and that went live only hardly three months ago. And today, we've had half a million likes and comments on that social feeds that we've had our users you know, sort of engaging on. And, and perhaps the most powerful piece, do you remember Ria from last year? So we had launched the world's first AI nutritionist called Ria. Um, and you know, that was in an alpha version, and that went live in a beta version in January. And so in Ma February timeframe, 5% of all of our users' messages were going to Ria. In fact, 95% were being handled by our coaches. Uh, thanks to all the effort the team has done and the coaches have done today, I'm proud to say that Ria, just two weeks ago, is now handling 51% of all the messages that are coming to us, all the millions of messages that are coming to us on a monthly basis. It means that the powerful combination of Ria and coaches is today sincerely and seriously working. Besides that, last year we were at 3 million users or so, you know, and, and we were hoping to become India's largest. We were already the most, India's most liked app at 4.6 rating, you know, and we wanted to also target being India's largest health app. And I'm quite proud to say that we've achieved that. Uh, that we, we are now at 8 million users and we'll be at less than 10 million, we'll be more than 10 million users before the end of this fiscal year. Um, outside that, we healthified more than 50 corporates. Uh, all the logos that you see here have had a passionate engagement with us uh, over the last 18 months. And we did some amazing things with each one of them, but one particularly rings special to home. Please give a shout out to the Cognizant team who's present here today with us. Uh, we participated, we got 39,000 employees digitally engaging on one platform that was ours. And boy, we made history because we achieved a damn world record for it. So um, outside, you know, these few achievements, um, you know, I, I guess maybe it's good to reflect for a second about why we do what we do. Uh, you know, I, I, we started this company seven years ago to try and make, genuinely make the world a better place. You know, a lot of companies say that, it's the often repeated cliched, particularly in Silicon Valley, that, oh, we're going to make the world a better place. But think about it. We actually do it every single day, a user at a time. Every single day, a user or a customer of ours is happier or healthier 
or fitter thanks to the work that we do. And that inspires us to continue to work harder, stronger, better every single day. Social impact is not do, is something we generate as a, as a lousy collateral or as a PR line. It's just what we do. Our business is to make healthy living easy, fun, and affordable. Right? So here are some of the stories that have inspired us through time. I'm, going, I'm not going to read them, but incredible transformations that have happened for several reasons uh, that have taken place on our platform. Uh, stories that have inspired sometimes our users so much that this very client of ours actually became a coach with us eventually and started to help out our other customers and stories that continue and will continue to inspire us through the days of darkness and through the days of excitement. Um, if we can just play one such short story, I think that would be fantastic to sort of, perhaps a story that touches the heart of a, of, of a customer of ours who's truly benefited from health affirming. I have been diagnosed, with, have been diagnosed with synovial sarcoma. It's sarcomatic cancer and it was on third stage. Either I can save my life or I can save my foot. Nine to ten months, I was completely in bed. I was bedridden. From 80, I was 130 at that point of time. In the meantime, I got in touch with an organization, Healthify Me. You can log all your diet. They'll provide you the workout sessions according to your circumstances and according to your environment. So they provide me best workout sessions through which I'll be able to lose some weight. Let's give it up. Second fastest to win the 5K Walkathon. Stories that inspire us. On a more lighter note though, on a lighter note, you know, there are stories that entertain us as well. So we thought, you know, our team thought it'd be great to pick the, the choicest of them and, and then just pull them out. So, so here we go. This is a big shout out for, for our own uh, product managers. Uh, you know, I, I guess we have to thank uncle and auntie at some point. Uh, you know, and, and of course, this one. <laughs> and, 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 and maybe my most favorite one, as the Punjabi in me found out just last week, this comment, I had to put it on. <laughs> you know, so, so there, are, there are stories that entertain us as well from our customers, but we do it all for them. And you know, some of these users have made incredible history with us. These are customers, guys, who have tracked on our app for more than 800 distinct days in the last three years. Can you imagine that? You know, a year has only 365 days, just for reference, right? And these are live, our customers. Um, and I'm very proud to say that, that it is a team we've decided that these 20 customers of ours, we're going to give them lifetime, all access to all of our premium services forever. Uh, and, and we're also giving them 5,000 rupees each uh, voucher for eating healthy foods whenever they want. More on that later. Um, outside these customers, if you remember last Ignite, we'd made a promise. We'd made a commitment, a vision statement that we intend to be a global company, that we want to go beyond the boundaries of India and try and make impact at a global scale. Why is this important? Um, because I believe what we are doing is not just for this country. What we are doing is for the human civilization to try and improve the paradigm as it exists today for nutritionist trainers and customers around the world, right? And, and, and we took this resolve, and let's see how we progress along those lines since. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is each, each little pixel of light here represents our customer here in India today. Um, and, and, and of course, this was the situation uh, last year when we met, I showed a similar map to you about India. Um, if we can switch to, and maybe if you could dim the lights a little bit, if we can switch to a view of how the customers are actually engaging in live logs with us. So these are real customers tracking their foods, their fitness on our platform right now in India. So, so as we looked beyond, thank you. So, yeah, so you can see that you know, our customer engagement, unlike many other startups or companies, isn't resolved to the top four or eight cities. We are not a two city fitness company, we are truly, we were and we are a very strong Indian enterprise that's relevant in 220 cities today. People from each zip code, from the Andaman Islands to Leh and Ladakh, from, the, from Nagaland to west of Gujarat actually use Healthify Me. And, and you know, that's, that always, this chart, this looking at this live map always gives me the goosebumps and always gets me excited about work every day. 
Uh, but we resolved to go beyond. Uh, we resolved to do something better. So we did. We went over to the Middle East first. We launched to the Indian expat community, and, and we saw great confidence from that. So we thought, let's go conquer in Europe. Um, and, 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 and we launched in Europe, and we, we attracted the Indian expat community there, and then with a little bit of help from friends, even did some impact in East Coast and West Coast in the United States. And finally, we came down to Southeast Asia, and we got some excellent results there, some that even inspired us to go beyond the Indian expat community. But over this last one year, ladies and gentlemen, we went from an Indian company to a global one. And, uh, and our product scaled. I think uh, Sachin will tell you more about how it scaled and the real, you know, the, 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 the blood and sweat that went behind us scaling to this global level. But it did. It held its own and is only stronger and better since we last met. Continuing on, um, you know, what we did was about six months ago, we got excited to think through beyond Indian expats. Indian expats provided us some good, comfortable, desi homes worldwide to actually talk to. But we felt that to be truly global, we cannot only restrict ourselves to Indian ethnicity. We have to be relevant and valid to other countries and other ethnicities. We launched some probe apps and we launched some experiments in over 15 geographies in the emerging markets where we thought there was heavy relevance for a product like ours. And we saw great resonance in Southeast Asia. Um, Southeast Asia is a region which is not that different from India. We've got a, 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 a significant good middle class population. A huge part of it is either obese or diabetic. One that has become so in the last, since the turn of the century. So Indian obesity levels went from 14% in 2005 to, 2000, to 29% in 2015. Overall, as an emerging markets, we made global human obesity rise from about 1.2 billion to about 2 billion in that time frame. Right, in just the last 15 years. And that has happened in emerging markets. Why? Because we've all moved in emerging markets from rural to urban populations. Uh, we don't work in rice fields anymore, but we eat rice all the time. Our, our habits have stayed the same, though we have sedentary lifestyles. True for every one of us. Um, and in that, migration has resulted in heavy incidence of obesity and therefore non-communicable diseases like diabetes, hypertension, and cholesterol to follow. And we saw that happen as particularly Malaysia ended up in, in our scanners as the greatest diabetes incident and obesity incidents per capita in all of Asia Pacific. Um, and Indonesia and Singapore weren't too different. So we thought, you know what, that's a problem to be solved. You've got an increasingly unhealthy population with access to smartphones and purchasing power parity that can actually work. And et you know, et ethnicities and cultural similarity, which is not that far from India. So we decided to pick it up as a huge uh, matter of you know, next step and confidence for us around uh, you know, and, and we presented it to our, to our board, and we were very excited, and this is something we haven't... Do you remember we delivered, our, we, we raised a Series B of $12 million earlier this year, and we announced that together? I'm sure you guys remember that. Well, you know, our board was as excited about us going global as I was, and I'm quite excited to say that earlier this year, guys, we raised $6 million from our existing investors, um, alongside Innovan Capital. Thank you. Um, uh, which is a Tamasic entity from Singapore, um, and we decided to deploy this capital to, to go deeper and bigger in our global endeavors. Um, so, what have we been up to in the last two months? We launched about two months ago. We already have 50,000 users in Southeast Asia. We've had millions of food logs and water logs already. We've had 20 plus coaches. Many of them are in our house today. Please stand up if you don't reside in India on a regular basis, if you can. All right, let's give it up to these coaches who have joined us from different parts of the world, from Southeast Asia, and I think some from, there's one from Egypt as well, so thank you for this. Um, and the others who are logging in remotely, I say hello to you. And, uh, and we've started, and it's amazing. Engagement there is stronger than in India. Customer bases are more active, more excited about the product than in India. Maybe when we started in India, it was too early for us, but there is greater awareness outside India for what we are trying to do. And we're seeing some amazing results, and I'm so confident and happy about the future and about continuing that global vision. But with the, what I would love to show to you maybe is a little, is a, in the meanwhile, is a little flavor of our team there. Uh, so if we can play the clip for our team, that would be brilliant. Hi, I'm Eva. I'm a nutritionist. Hi, I'm Jaisila Mani, and I'm a fitness trainer. Hi, I'm Nazira. I'm a nutritionist. 
Hi, I'm Aki. I'm a fitness trainer. Hi, hey, I'm Monica, and I'm a nutritionist. Hi, I'm Asfara, and I am a nutritionist. Hi, guys. I'm Wick. I'm a fitness trainer. Hi, I'm Ellie, and I'm a fitness trainer. Hi, I'm Grace, and I'm a nutritionist. Hi, I'm Alexandra, and together we are Team Healthify Me Southeast Asia. I can't wait to meet all of you, and I'm so excited to be part of the Healthify Me team and growing this throughout the region. I believe we can do so much here, and we can make Healthify Me a great international brand. See you guys soon, and have a great time at Ignite. So that's our team there. It's a very passionate, committed team, and I'm sure with, with, with support from us, we'll, uh, you know, wonders await us. Um, incidentally, this, earlier this week, I was in Singapore, and I met with many, uh, you know, senior, uh, senior people from there, and, and amongst them were the, was the finance minister and the deputy prime minister, and, and I shared about the vision of how we are launching in Singapore, um, literally, uh, you know, end of this month, or rather, first of December, and, uh, you know, uh, particularly the, the finance minister, Honorable Heng Kiat, was very impressed with what we are about to do. And he was very excited and very passionate about us launching in Singapore, Southeast Asia, and Malaysia, and, and couldn't wait for us to go there. And, you know, I just loved his, his candor and his passion so much that I requested him, the Honorable Finance Minister of Singapore, to record a message for us. So this is Minister Kiat to all of you guys. Go ahead. Well, to the team in Healthify Me, Congratulations on your launch, and I hope that you know you'll go on to grow thick and healthy uh, in uh, Singapore, in Southeast Asia, and in fact, the rest of the world. So my heartiest congratulations and best wishes. So I think, in short, the market is ready. You know, we just have to go out there and get our act together. Um, so as we, as we look global, um, I'm very excited to take our, you know, we, I think if we can truly achieve that global map in a huge scale over the next 18 months, which I have no doubt that we will, if we become the emerging markets leader, the digital health platform, get 100 million users, I have no doubt in my mind uh, that we will be one of the first consumer product companies to accomplish that. We've already had recent success with companies like Oyo and Ola launching outside, but I don't, there are very few startups that can show a map like the one we did, where you have people from, you know, from uh, literally from Silicon Valley to Serbia, from, from, you know, from, uh, from Belgium to Canada to Australia using a product and benefiting from the services. You know, particularly in Malaysia, I'm seeing concepts emerge where people are using local nutritionists uh, from Malaysia, yoga instructor from Mysore, um, and, and a fitness trainer from New Zealand. And I can see that model further growing to great heights and us changing the way wellness and fitness and personal services in that space is delivered worldwide. Uh, and I'm excited to build that large company as we go forward. So that was on our international forays. Uh, the, the second key part about my keynote today is about product. Um, and you know, product is the most exciting thing that we always do. We've always been pioneers. Uh, we've always been first. We've always had a, a, a significant first that we have delivered. So let's look at what we've accomplished in the last one year. You know, RIA 1.0, I'm sure all of us were familiar with. RIA 1.0, uh, you know, had a lot of data to choose from. And last year, I remember, you know, doing this mango or apple comparison very nervously in front of everyone, looking continuously at Sachin and Punita and saying, ye chalega ke nahi chalega, you know, because it was, it was so raw and was so prototypish. But we established a fantastic team around it. You know, and with Punita joined Apoor from Institute of Science, Raja from Stanford, you know, Tarun from IIT, and Mukunda, Director of Engineering, took it his personal mission, you know, while doing his MS at Georgia Tech to just really freeze this out. And, and my God, what we have built is pretty phenomenal. Pardon me for the rest of the guys for not taking your names, but, you know, it, it's amazing what Rio 1.0 has accomplished. Free data. Many Silicon Valley startups today have tried to scrape data from WebMD and from other Quora sources and try to take that uh, data to try and build amazing AI solutions. That has not worked. Why? Because it's not contextually relevant and it's genetic information. It's not so precise as driven. The other, you know, the, the other model to build it is to actually pay people to train AI models, right? To actually do, and you know, large companies have actually done that. Uh, and they have set up major operation centers and oftentimes pay millions of dollars a month to people who are basically sitting out there and entering data. But for something as, as, as complicated and emotional as human science, neither of the models work 
The first one doesn't work because it's not relevant enough, and the second doesn't work because it's not sustainable enough. It's, it needs too much of capital infusion. And even if you do, imagine if any one of your nutritionists was to ask to write down answers to something, it will never be the same as what you would to a real client at the other side. So the fact that we had all these 18 million messages and continuously expanding and increasing in our primary business model is the reason why RIA, I believe, is so successful. And as a friend of mine once put, it, in this world of nutrition and fitness, we have gone inch wide and mile deep, and that has resulted in amazing outcomes. Um, you know, so RIA 1.0 um, um, accomplished incredible things, and, and, you know, but I think there's no better way to present it. Uh, and you know, of course, over time, we've seen that the percentage of messages handled by RIA went from Literally nothing last ignite to 51% today. Um, and, but you know, I think there is no way, better way of telling it than to show you some real conversations. These are anonymized real conversations that have happened with Ria on text, on messaging, but we have had voice actors just do it. So hope you enjoy this. Hey Ria, how was my day today? You have reached 76% of your calorie budget. Your diet seems to be lacking in fiber. Since you like whole wheats, have more of it. I just want to lose fat around my stomach. I have love handles that I want to lose. My weight is good. I just need to reduce my body fat percentage. Spot reduction of fat or reducing fat from a specific body part is not possible. Fat reduction is a full body process. I'm not doing well. I had stomach upset due to food poisoning. Trying to cope up. Hi, sorry to hear about this. Hope you have seen a doctor for the same. Do get sufficient rest and get back to your routine when you can. Take care. Will you be my girlfriend? I'm always free for you. Tell me how can I help? You're beautiful. Flattery will get you everywhere. Hey Ria, how was so, my day today? Um, so you know, um, I, I guess there have been other funny conversations, some that are not in here, but there was one that I loved, especially when, when, a, when a guy actually said, hi honey. Uh, and, and, you know, and, and poor Ria, simplistic as she is, just responded with the detailed information about the calorie value of honey and how it's good for you and, you know, the, <laughs> the amazing things honey can do for you. Any which way, moving on. Um, but that was all Ria 1.0, guys. And today I'm excited to talk about Ria 2.0, what Ria will now be in the future, right? And I feel, again, that sense of mild nervousness and anxiety as I reveal this to you, because it's amazing what we've already accomplished in RIA, and we're just getting started there. So the next stage of what we are about to build is truly historic. There is no benchmarks for it. There is no model to copy. Google, Facebook, Apple don't have something we can look at. There's nobody to inspire us but us and ourselves. So in this process, what we are delivering is we are trying to get RIA to be a smarter assistant. In the world where I believe with, with all of the big guys pushing in a lot of money behind using great voice-based interactive devices, be it Alexa, Google Home, Auto, et cetera, you know, there will be a possibility of us using voice as the primary interaction point, uh, be it your watch or your home devices. So one of the projects that we're working on and we want to get fully successful at is, can RIA work, can you use your entire app without touching it at all? And I think that would be powerful, to use RIA as your completely smart assistant, to, to engage you with completely voice and interactive uh, gestures and user experiences. Second is to try and get Ria to be a better coach. Today, Ria was an augmented coach, but it was, it, it's not, it, it's able to, it sometimes lacks context, doesn't give powerful insights enough, uh, gives only smaller insights, et cetera. So we, and, and sometimes it can't really go beyond one or two conversation layers in depth. So we're trying to get it to be a more holistic, interactive coach, one that you could have a real sustained conversation with, right? Second is deeper knowledge base. Ria only used to learn from our existing knowledge graph, and which was great because it made it very smart and very relevant, but we felt wouldn't be cooler if Ria could also search the entire World Wide Web and pick up all the relevant information from there around health and fitness. Think about Google search with a major health filter on, right? And, and then pl plug all of that in and gets empowered from that knowledge base alongside just our knowledge graph. <coughs> Best part is all of this is already done. And I'm about to show you some of the first prototypes of RIA 2.0 in our interactive conversations. So ladies and gentlemen, join me for the demo. Um, and if we can have the lights down, the cameraman up, let's dive into RIA 2.0 works. Check, check.
So let us say here we are. Um, how have you been? Hey Tushar, I am doing great. Let me share some stats with you this evening. In the last six months, I have received more than 1.4 million messages from 100,000 users. I understand around 75% of the questions that I get and I'm definitely getting better. I recently started talking to corporate users as well and I am loving it. Just one second. Yeah. Can you also focus it better, please? So you know one thing that I, which I love doing and which is a nightmare for my team is we only do live demos. Right? Uh, because I just believe that's a better thing to do. Most of the keynotes by most major companies today only do screenshots or video screens. So, so this is as live as it gets. Something breaks, it's always the case. And, and, and the guys, all the engineers holding their breaths, keep holding it for another. <laughs> How we can use in the future, uh, you know, a RIA 2.0 where you, know, you can actually use purely voice-based assistants. What's the way you track your food today in the app? You type it, you log it, you manually do it. That's also the most difficult touch point, right? What if you could just tell the phone? What are you going to tell Ria what you ate in a conversation and that's all? So here's, here's that. Track gobi paratha and dahi for lunch. Only having gobi paratha for lunch will not be bad. Track gobi paratha and dahi for lunch. You can track your food below. And, uh, and instantly, you know, it's able to recognize that. And it's able to understand that intent, the Desi voice intent with the Desi Indian foods. And it's able to calibrate that. And you know, if I go to track, previous RIA would just, at best, track it, right? But the new RIA is a smarter coach. So the RIA would not only track it, Whoa, but would actually give like us insights. Seems like you had a heavy lunch. Your meal was 589 calories against an ideal limit of 453 calories. So you are over budgeted by 135 calories right now. Not all is lost. You can make up for it. Can I help you fix it? So it's not only, inter so it's not only interpreted the insights, it's actually being, giving us some actionable insight on top of it, right? If I say, even if I, it, it's giving you, hey, do you want to fix this problem that you've just created for yourself? So I'm like, you know, I can, I can, I can, of course. Can you fix it? Sure. Looks like Bangalore is having a cool and pleasant evening. Why not head out for a 15 to 20 minute walk to burn those extra calories? I can navigate you to a nice promenade by the lake if you like. And it is geolocationally aware. It understands weather, it understands where you're at, and it gives you direct actionable feedback. So if I do click navigate me, it will take me to a place near me that I could go and go for a good run right now. Well, you know, you've already, I mean, you've all used Ria when you say, you know, track, track, you know, what can I have for a snack? What can I have for a lunch? And, you know, Ria does really well at that. Last time I did a cheeky comparison of all the other assistants out there, Alexa, Facebook, Google, and I said, what can I have for a snack? And they gave funny answers, uh, like I like microchips, or you know, I don't do this and that. But when you asked Ria, I'd give you very specific uh, snack advice. You remember that? I, I actually showed that last time, right? You can have this sandwich, or this, and this was contextual to my data and my knowledge. I've gone a step ahead this time. Can you please order a low calorie snack for now? I suggest you go with stir fried vegetables. It is 100 calories and well within your budget of calories. I can order it from fresh menu to reach you in under 30 minutes. Any allergies or medical conditions I need to be aware of. So, of course, of course I can order it from fresh menu, right? Is Rashmi here by any chance? No? All right, I wish he was. Of course I can order it from fresh menu, but that would be too easy. It's asked me if I have any allergies or medical conditions. I just found out that I am pre-diabetic. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let's talk more about this and discuss with your coaches. For now, can I switch your order to a low-carb option? I can order you a clear chicken soup from Fresh Menu. Right, so it, 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 it learns and it personalizes and it reacts to the situation that you put in forth. And what if we try and click order it 
there you go. It's actually been ordered. Right? So, so you know, guys, me and Rashmi are working on this. It's, it's, in, it's an alpha phase right now. You know, it would have been amazing if I could get a, an actual, actual snack. But we're working on it in an alpha phase. And, you know, uh, this order has actually gone to Fresh Menu, believe it or not. Uh, we hope that certainly with Fresh Menu and many others like Fresh Menu, we'll be making, you know, healthy food available and accessible to every city in India. Um, <laughs> thank you, guys. So, uh, I think, uh, yeah, so that was, you know, early glimpses of RIA 2.0. Many aspects of it are already live, some of the earlier aspects that you saw, and, and some of the aspects are in beta right now as we speak. None of what you saw was a prototype, except for the fresh menu one, which is also in alpha. It's not quite a real prototype. So, uh, you know, uh, and I hope that over the next few months, uh, you know, you guys will actually engage, and I'm just, just I can't even imagine at this point what next Igni years Ignite we will be able to showcase for you um, in, um, in, in, as part of our Healthify Me, Healthify Me's platform. Um, so, you know, m moving forward, uh, there, is a, there is a concept video that the, that the team put together, you know, because RIA 2.0 is definitely something that inspires us. Uh, I think that's, that excites us. That excites us, but, you know, we wanted to also inspire us and our audience a little bit. So we have created a concept video of which all the different prototypes that you'll hear in this next segment are actually true and are live. But stitched together, this video is going to be not possible for the next few months, but it's something that is perceived achievable in the future. Today, Ria deals with you separately. Coach deals with you separately. It's not loading? OK. No worries. We'll, we'll come back and showcase the power of it uh, towards, the, towards the end of Snap if that works out. Basically, this concept video, and if it works out, we'd love to show you, is RIA works separately and Coach works separately. But what if you could combine RIA and Coach together? And how would that call be? Right. So that, that is the video concept that, we've, that we are looking forward to showing you. And I think if it works together, then we'd love to show you. Meanwhile, moving on, um, there are other capabilities of RIA and of, of, of you know, some of the stuff that we're working on. Remember, the, what, one of the other challenges that the, the team thought of was you know, Ria can only hear and speak right now. But what if Ria could see? <laughs> okay, I can already see some like ooms and ahs going on. But what if Ria could see? Think about the possibilities thereof. Presenting to you Healthify Me Snap. Right? And um, I don't want to talk about it, I just want to show it. Because it's not a prototype, it's life. Right now. Right? So. Case one, how many of you have ordered um, a food delivery in your life? Some food delivery app have you used? How many of you have had problems in figuring out what to eat? Okay. What if Ria could do that for you? In, in, in any app, not just like with whom we have any partnership with, but any damn app, right? Wouldn't that be cool? Let me show you Snap. So this is the first, it, it's the first um, showcase of what Snap's capabilities are. These are the computer vision and optics that our Pi team has been working on. Pi team in our, in our company's product AI team that Sachin runs alongside Hapoorf um, and, and, and is doing some incredible work. So can you see, can you focus it please? Yeah. And can you rotate the screen such that it's correctly displayed? Let me see, uh, there, is this better? Okay, so what, what Healthify Me Snap allows you to do is suppose I switch on Snap uh, in this case. There you go. I could go to any app, in this case, say Swiggy. Let's go for how are we feeling? What, what kind of food are we feeling, guys? Huh? Let's, let's try this green pepper place. Um, let's go menu. What are we feeling? Are, are, we're Desis, right? Let's go for Indian. Um, I have, I'm recently like a huge fish convert. Uh, that's all I eat every time. So, you know, suppose I'm having trouble deciding what should I eat here, right? Here's what Snap can do. You can just click it, and it actually tells you what it thinks about it, and it actually tells you what is good for you. So it says boneless fish kebab is what I should consider getting. 
Right? So it's the latest in optical recognition that combines itself together in a simple user experience to actually deliver suggestions for you from any digital screen. Not just digital screen, but later my colleagues will demonstrate to you from any menu in any restaurant. You can just take a photo using Snap and it'll tell you what you should eat. It'll highlight the things that are good for you in any menu that you have. Right? But that's not all. That, you know, the, the, again, just doing OCR-based recognition would be, would be too easy for the team. So we challenged ourselves even further. And over the last six months, guys, we've been working on true computer vision to actually be able to recognize any Indian food and track it seamlessly by a photograph. Right? And, and I'm happy to demonstrate it finally to you because it actually works and it's actually live in beta right now. Right? So please, please join me as I look at this, this incredible thali over here. Uh, so what, what we see is, you know, I don't know if you can show the audience, but there's, there's, there's like a good, you know, good classic thali you would get a Madura Idli shop or whatever. And, you know, later on, there is, a, and, and I say Madura Idli shop and a big shout out to those guys because they're right opposite our office. And they usually have the worst lighting conditions and the, the most crowded environments for us to test. So if it's stress test Madura Idli shop, you know, usually it works quite well. And so we, we give it the MIS test, you know, and if MIS works, you're like, this is solid, right? So we've been very, very excitedly working on it. And you know, there's a garage outside and you can actually test out the life. You can actually test out, test out life of everything we've talked about today uh, on even the food that you'll be eating tonight or otherwise, right? And you can sign up for beta and we'll release it to you. So let, let's try this, right? So if I click a snap today, you know, Ria only uses voice space and this space tracking. But if I was to click it, let's see, uh, you know, I can actually, I can, I can click on the roti. Uh, and let's see what it's suggesting. It's suggesting roti, right? Butter roti and, and, and tandoori roti. I don't know if you can actually see it. Well, let me put it down here. Maybe that'll be better for you as a cameraman. And, uh, and let me try to move it around a little. Let me try to see what this is over here. You know, I think that's, that's this is banana, right? Some, uh, I think it's Kerala banana or, or, or you know, sort of, Let's see what it says. Il Ilaichi banana and yalaki banana, right? And, uh, and let, let's see what this is over here. Uh, dahi, picked it out as the number three option, but still not too bad. And let's see what this is. So it thinks of suggestions are in probability order. Cook moong dal, guys, right? Cook moong dal and uh, you know, of course. So you know, the idea is that there are, the vision optics is getting better and better cucumber onion salad around the world, but today nothing exists possibly and remotely that can track Indian foods, right? That, that just, that, that the tech and the combination of the tech to make it happen and the data doesn't exist today. We are one of the first ones to actually create that and to be able to showcase that and, and we're excited about it, right? So it's able to figure out namkeen and mixtures and whatnot and be able to show it to you. So, you know, very soon, and we've done tests and comparison with Google Lens, with Calorie Mama, with some of the other optics working happen at, you know, at, at MIT Media Lab, and it, it, nothing compares by far with the quality of what our recognition can understand today. And again, we have not even released it in full beta, or like, you know, to the extended audience. And the moment we release it, it learns from that, and it'll, it's only with bootstrap data right now. Good news is three years ago, somebody had this, you know, a random idea that we should allow people to track using photos. So we've been allowing people, premium users to track using photo all this while, remember? And we have had our own ops people track that food all this while. Good news is we could train and bootstrap all of our data using that massive, you know, order of magnitude 100,000 uh, foods that we had. So that has helped, uh, helped us to get a great quick start. Again, business model yielding AI capabilities. We could have never thought that that would lead to this four years ago when we launched that. Right? So, so that's pretty cool. So guys, that was Health If I Me Snap. To just conclude all this, uh, you know, tech, uh, tech past part of the world and, you know, and, 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 and just show you how it comes together. Remember I told you about that concept video where how, what if Ria and a coach and a consumer could talk together. There's something that we're working on. This is a prototype. This is a vision concept. Something hopefully will be live before the next Ignite. And here you go. Kamla, how are you? Hey, Anjan. How are you doing? I'm good, but my routine's actually gone for a toss. I've just been traveling for work and I haven't got any time to follow my diet. That's okay. Let me check out your eating pattern over the last week. Hey Ria, how has Anjan been doing in the last week? 
Hey Kamla, Anjan has tracked 4 out of 7 days. His calories are 70% of his weekly target. His carbs and fats are in check but his protein is at 55% of his target. Okay Anjan, your protein seems to be a little low. Why don't you take more amount of uh, chicken, fish and eggs in your diet on alternate days? Yeah Kamla, it's been really hard because of the travel. I've just not got any time. But do you think you can add those items to my diet plan please and just send me a new one? Hey Ria, can you switch Anjan's lunch to non-veg every alternate day? Okay, adding some chicken and fish to Anjan's lunch for alternate days and sending him a new plan. <laughs> okay, cool. Let me take a look. Can we talk on Saturday and discuss this in more detail? Hey Ria, can you look at my calendar and book a call with Anjan on Saturday? Sounds good. I booked a slot for 11 a.m. on Saturday. So, you know... Today, uh, assistants don't work in conjunction with phone calls while you're on conversation with any other person worldwide in any format. So again, like I said, we'll be pioneers there and we're hoping to work, deliver it very soon. So, you know, these were some of the cool tech showcases, but how do we all like stitch all of these innovations together, right? Where does it make the business case? You know, with all due respect to my investors also sitting here, how do we convince the board that we still have to spend money on this, right? The, 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 the inspiration came from the fact that 51% of, of, of messages were being handled by Ria alone. So there is power in that. What is the power? Healthy living is too expensive. Remember when we started the company and to this date, our mission has always been to make healthy living easy, fun, and affordable, right? Affordability means being offered to render solutions at a cheap price point. It costs 500 rupees to visit a nutritionist in Indranagar in India today. We made it 999 for a whole month. But that's not sufficient enough, right? At 999 rupees, we're still dealing with the elite. So we had to launch something easier, sim simpler, cheaper. And therefore, today, I'm introducing you to Smart Plan. Smart plans are going to be only 299 rupees a month. And Smart Plans are going to be packaging all the powerful tech capabilities that we've come together and, and offer it to our customers. So Smart Plans will combine self-learning diet plans and, uh, and diet plans that modify them with understanding how you are using those diet plans, which ones are you following, not following, et cetera, adaptive diet plans. Smart plan will have RIA 2.0 built in as standard offering in every, in every smart plan that'll go out. It'll have micronutrient trackings beyond just PFCF, and it'll also have really powerful insights that again come as part of our RIA 2.0 standard. Uh, you know, and, 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 uh, and of course, you know, the idea is to bring this price point down to 299, and as an introductory offer, we're going to be launching it at 199 and, and you know, and, uh, and Anjan has finally given me the green sing signal last night, and I'm very, very excited, and a big shout out to the engineers who worked so hard to tell you that Smart Plans as of midnight last night is live. So, um, so if you go on your apps, you can check out Smart Plans. It's already there. Uh, of course, as always, Free for seven days. It's almost an, uh, our trademark at this point. Uh, so, you know, uh, that was on products, guys. So, you know, first section of our keynote was on, on international and expansion plans. Second one was all the cool tech behind the scenes effort that our strong team of engineers and designers and product managers have been putting in. And the third part is about what else? It's about platform. Um, so platform is something that we announced last time. We said we're going to do, you know, we're going to actually create more. We want to try and enter more than into digital services as well. We want to go beyond that into, into other areas, into adjacency areas, as we address our Indian market stronger and better. And we wanted to launch it particularly for foods. And I remember telling the media as well at that time that foods is a problem I want to solve. But I did not want us to be a, you know, a, a two-city uh, or a three-city initiative, I wanted us to be uh, multiple dozens of cities or hundreds of cities initiatives. Uh, and, uh, and that's why we started working on a project called Eat Better, almost beginning of this year, and took a lot of time for us to work on it. And why did we decide to work on Eat Better is because we saw some interesting problems in, 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 in the space itself, in, in our own customers as they tried to eat healthier, we saw some roadblocks. What were these roadblocks? We saw that snacks are the most unhealthy meals in a day. No surprise there, right? Uh, and that they have the most amount of fat consumption there, there is in any meal type. We also realized that the key problem there isn't price point, but is access. Typically, when you ask people, what should I eat? What people say is, it, you know, the first thing that you can get access to. 
you know, the first thing that I find, you know, biscuit khā lete, you know, yeah, this khā lete, you know, whatever else I find, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually go out there and eat. And, um, and there was lack of trust in the ecosystem. People didn't quite trust that a certain type of snacks are healthier than the other types. So there was no credible source of, of information to actually tell them that. And, um, and we thought of solving it. So our teams went around. Uh, guys, can you help me move the screen? Rohan? Um, and our team actually went around to, to several cities and towns and vendors and partners. We curated about 50 partners, 450 SKUs in our app. Each one of them nutritionally balanced. Each one of them good for you. Our nutritionists actually, till date, if we find something that is not good for you, that is not relevant, we shoot it down, right? So this is a place where you can be rest assured that healthy foods will be available to you no matter what you, no matter what, and will always uh, be the right thing and be good for you. And, uh, and over this testing period, we finally launched it in beta to about three lakh customers, got data from them, and, uh, and we're excited to say that, uh, you know, these are the categories and partners that we've had, trail mixes, makanas, beverages, Roasted snack, nuts and seeds, cookies and crackers, dessert replacement, dry fruits, breakfast cereals, health bar supplements, and we're working with dozens of partners today. Um, and many of these partners you would have never heard about, and there's a reason why. These are the, the truly authentic guys out there, the truly sincere people out there are small, they're unknown, and they're dealing with markets that are too small and too localized. You know, we thought, what if we could combine their cottage industry sincerity with a national outreach plan? Right? And, and so that's what we did. And we combined all of them in Healthify Me's 8 million user ecosystems. And we finally, once again, have scaled that out to all of our user base. Just yesterday, and it went live on Apple as well yesterday. And, uh, and finally, it, this is Eat Better, guys. And it's launched officially today to all of our customers across the entire country. We learned from this experiment here, and hopefully after learning, the day is not far when we launch it for Southeast Asia as well. Um, and so, um, looking ahead, I guess just want to wrap now. So this was the third thing that is the key announcement for the date and the key initiative work by us. We're looking at medical conditions pretty seriously. We've, one thing we've realized is that majority of our customers, half our customers who, who are our paying consumers have a medical condition. And majority of them have discovered it in the, you know, significant part have discovered only in the last six months, right? What if we had had it, what if we could have had our customers discover their issues with a medical condition much faster, much easier. And, and those who have had discovered it, we have realized that we're making incredible impact on reversing early stage diabetes, on cholesterol, on PCOS, and how can we do that more empirically is a problem, is a challenge that we're keen on solving. So I th we are already working with several large partners, and within, before the end of the year, we're excited to be able to launch a diagnostics platform that we should be able to deliver to our customer base, both free and paying. So this is something that we are looking ahead and diagnostic after having solved foods and we'll be looking at next thing would be to solve diagnostics more successfully, more on that next Ignite. And as we continue that journey, try and integrate sort of a larger healthcare or an ecosystem between insurance, real world products, and expanding our services portfolios to other areas, other opportunities. Uh, more on that much, much later. This wraps up my keynote. We've gone global. My order is here. Fresh man, are yar. That's ridiculous. Okay, thank you. I have to. This, thank you. I have to. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> soup, so. that's, that's, I got it. If you can just. So I have to then personally thanks Rashmi. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for this. So the guys, give it up for Fresh Man, you guys. It's pretty cool. Um, huh? I don't know how they did it, but this is really cool. Uh, this is amazing. So I guess it's not that much in prototype right now, fellas. Uh, so, you know, foods we've solved, diagnostics we're gonna solve and open it out as a platform. Always, you know, and, 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 and the most important piece was product innovation. Um, you know, so if you, you know, um, quick thought on that. I believe at Healthify Me, we are pioneers. That's how we think of ourselves. That's how we always want to be for India, for the world, for the human race. Like I mentioned to you in the beginning, we are here to try and do something that is today impossible, that people believe is sci-fi, that people believe won't work. Anything that people say won't work, not possible, can't do, are the issues that excite us the most, because that's exactly what we want to do and solve and prove that we can do it. 
I still remember seven years ago starting on this concept, I still remember hearing no from so many people, from corporates, from partners, from employees, from investors who now believe that a digital service or nutritionist will work in a country like India. And 400 strong nutritionists and trainers are the best testimonial and a, and a response back to all the dozens of no's I've received in my life. Um, today I'm sure you believe that RIA or AI or visions and all, many of you probably are still skeptic, does this thing actually work, right? But, but the reality is our strong team has made it happen and made it happen against all odds and against all disbeliefs, right? And I think as we move forward, our idea is to continue to push this human endeavor forward, right? We are pioneers, we are magicians, we want to go where no one has ever gone before, right? We built this company to do exactly that. Dhanda to koi bhi bana leta yaar. I still remember in the early days of Healthify Me being told by friends and, and well-wishers that I should start making a, you know, that I should build a, another, I should launch a taxi app or I should launch a, or an e-commerce app. And I still remember my answer, yaar kapde to koi bhi bech dega. You know, how can we change the world? How can we push the boundaries on what is possible into the realms of what is not possible today? Can we do that frugally? Can we do that with sincerity and with passion? Can we make the impossible possible? And I just want to say, here's to the amazing team of pioneers that we have and that we are today. So to my co-founder Sachin, to my awe-inspiring leadership, and to the brilliant team of Healthify Me, thank you for these seven years, and here's to the next seven. Thank you for the keynote and Ignite 2018. Wow.